my name is Rachel. I'm part of the CES UK group and I decided to put a bit of a video together for all of you on how to make your own concourse skirt. I got into concourse during lockdown when I had, like most people, quite a bit of extra time on their hands and also an abundance of the need for online shopping. Couldn't go to shops like we all wanted to, so I got a little bit addicted to eBay. Throughout my journey of making my own skirt, I couldn't find a template. I couldn't find any hints or tricks of how to help. Top name seamstresses, they don't want to give you their secrets. They want you instead to give them 100, 400, even 700 pound for their beautiful outfits. And like most people, that's more than my mortgage. I simply cannot afford that. Not to mention, when you get a professionally made outfit, no matter how brilliant it is, no discredit to any seamstress, it's not going to fit perfectly. You might need to make little adjustments to your skirt. It might be a little bit too short. The shoulders of the jacket might be a little bit too big. The perks of making your own, you can try it on. Your horse is at your yard or up with your livery and you can take your skirt time and time again and make these adjustments. Making my own skirt, the first one I ever made, I must have taken it up with the help of my partner about 10 times to get the fit in the end and get it to work for me. So I'm gonna go through where I source all of my lovely fabrics, where I get all of my accessories and hopefully this will help you. First off, jackets. I can't make a jacket yet, I'm still learning. I need a lot of help with it. So. I'm lucky, I live about 100 yards away from three charity shops. For example, this jacket. Cancer research, four pounds. It might not be perfect, but it starts as a good base for you to then add your own embellishments to. If you haven't got a charity shop down the road, I never used to, I moved house. eBay. It's got a lovely pea blum bottom to it, so it'll sit nicely over your saddle. You could embellish it how you want to. Add lace like this one to the cuffs. Change the buttons, you've got nice gold buttons like this one. 10 pound, including delivery, eBay. Or, if you fancy a bit of a splurge like I did on this jacket, this is a beautiful Zara jacket. I was very, very lucky. Red Cross, 15 pound. They had a lot of new Zara clothes in and I thought that is going to be perfect with none other than a pair of curtains. I went to another charity shop when I was in town and I found beautiful, beautiful curtains to go with her. Nice, pale blue, beautiful summer outfit. So from that, we'll move on to the skirts. You can't beat a pair of curtains. Sorry, you just can't. They come ready lined. These are ready to make into a skirt. I've unpicked, which is probably the most painful part of it, all of the beading from the top. So yes, you do get this line at the top. But that's good. It helps you measure out your waistband if you use it that way. Or as these curtains, I unfortunately don't need them to be this long. I'm going to use them this way. So you can simply, when you sew them together, fold that out of the way so they're not going to notice. The key to when you're buying curtains secondhand from a charity shop or eBay or Etsy or Vinted, any of those, they need to be lightweight. Once you've pleated this half a million times to go to your waist, you do not want it to be bulky. You do not want to have your skirt out here and also it'll hurt and it'll weigh a lot. I made a mistake of buying when I was learning this, the most beautiful pair of brocade curtains that you could find. They were gorgeous. Unfortunately, by the time I pleated them, to my waist size. They must have weighed half a metric ton. 
they hurt. It nearly broke my sewing machine trying to go through all of that amount of fabric. And also the waistband was maybe this thick at the front. So key to curtains is lightweight. I don't think these cost any more than eight pound for the pair. Also, if curtains aren't your thing, if you want to be a bit posher than the skirting lady, I don't blame you. Fabric shops or even charity shops, they may have off cuts of fabric. The YMCA, four pound for absolutely oodles and oodles of this lovely crushed velvet. If you don't know your measurements yet, but you want to go out shopping, Later in the video, I'll show you how to make your measurements. A good, eye, a good eyeball for them is boobs to floor. Then you'll know you'll have enough fabric to cover down to your feet nicely, and then also to cover your pony's bottom and not make it look like they're having a wedgie when you're riding them round. But curtains come in more shapes and sizes. So my other finds have been non-lined curtains, lovely, lightweight, beautiful colour change in fabric, £77, and this lovely person even put the length and the depth on them, the width and the depth, sorry. So you know once you've got your measurements, if you get lovely charity shops that do that for you, you can tell right away if they're going to fit. Hats, again, Charity shops, eBay, that'll go lovely with my sky blue outfit. Or oh, I've got another one from a charity shop. This time I've added a brooch onto it. You may have seen this one out and about. It's my first ever homemade outfit. It goes with my purple. Or if you want to be a bit more upmarket, top hats. You can see these on all the side saddle groups, all the equestrian groups. People want near enough £100 for them. Be patient. Somebody might not know that they're selling a lovely vintage top hat. And you might be able to nab this one like I did on Facebook Marketplace for £25, including delivery. And the thing with top hats, unlike those, they've got to fit. These are lovely and they come with adjustable bits inside them. Top hats don't. The last thing you want when you're going around the ring is your top hat to come off. So make sure it fits you beautifully and it's not going to come off. Other than that, if the hat's not perfect, this is the outfit that came to coys with me that lots of people saw in the homemade class. Beautiful jacket, four pound in a charity shop some little embellishments. The hat was falling apart in a charity shop. It's all been lovingly sewn back together. Some feathers donated by the local riding club's guinea fowl, along with other little embellishments. And if you are going into a bit of a habit of dressmaking, one of the top purchases, Miss Mannequin. Because unfortunately, when you're making your lovely outfit to fit you, you don't get to see it on you. You don't know how it's going to look. Mannequins perfectly help with that dilemma. You can see your skirt come into life right before your eyes. Also, you can put the jackets on, see if it's going together, see if you've got the right length to the floor. Another thing for me, embellishments. Today, I managed to get up early enough and I went down to the charity shops. In the centre of your jabot, on your lapel, no more than a pound. All of them going beautifully. But again, if you don't have a charity shop, if you haven't got the time to go on your weekends to all the charity shops, you can pick up brooches on eBay, bundles of them for £5, nice and easily. Next off, how to spook bust your horse. The last thing you want is to make your outfit all beautiful, 
and find out that your horse actually has a vendetta against skirts. We'll be going up the yard shortly and I'll show you how to get all of your measurements. But until we go up the yard, cheapest pair of curtains I could find in a charity shop because unfortunately I think they're in a chain smoker's house. They unfortunately do stink, hence they're never going to be worn at a show. Simply sew the curtains together, two minutes in a sewing machine, maybe 10 minutes by hand. It doesn't need to be any good because it's going to be used as a template for you. It's going to be used to help your horse get used to skirts. I kept all the lining in this, simply tie it together at the front. You can see if it's going to be long enough for you. It gives you all the flap to make sure that your horse is going to be okay with it. But if you don't have that, not everyone does. Everyone has a bath towel. I'll show you at the yard. Simply sit on the one end and leave the other end to flap over their bottom. It can get them used to it. If you don't want to use a bath towel, say you've got nice ones, exercise sheets, but do not put the fillet string through. Leave it so it can flap. So next you'll be joining me at the yard with my stinky pair of curtains and the most key thing, a measuring tape, which I've lost, stop. All right, so once you've got to your yard, located your pony, saved your tape measure from the cat, I'm gonna show you how we measure up for a skirt. So you grab your tape measure, make sure your pony is happy with said tape measure first. And the key part of this is measuring from your hip to at least two inches below your stirrup. And this is where an assistant, AKA Ian, comes in very handy. I'm going to take the tape measure down. 41 inches, the bottom of the stirrup. Make sure Danny investigates. So is it 41 to the bottom of the stirrup or two inches below the stirrup? 41 inches to the bottom of the stirrup. So we need two inches below our stirrup. So that's going to mean we need 43 inches for the length of the side of our skirts. Then make sure your pony's very happy with doing this first. As we can see, Danny doesn't really give flying monkey about much that I do. So we're going to take our tape measure and put it to the center of our back where we want the waistband of the skirt to sit. Then your assistant is going to take your tape measure again and measure at least two inches below your horse's dock. If your horse has got an extremely long dock, you can just measure just to the bottom of it. It all depends on your horse or pony. It, it is 48 inches to the bottom of his dock. 48 inches to the bottom of Danny's dock. Lovely. So that means we need our skirt to go from 43 inches and gradually drop to 48 inches to give us a nice coverage. So when you've got your measurements, you want to make sure that your horse is not going to take offence to you wearing a skirt and make sure that they're going to be happy with it. Because next time you do it, it's going to be with what you've made. And the last thing you want is any disasters with something that you've just spent absolutely yonks sewing. So my assistant is going to hand me the camera and he's going to then go and get me the smoky curtain that we saw earlier. So we've got it all nicely laid out and ready. If you don't have the luxury of a lovely little indoor arena, all of this can be done in the stable or on the yard. So this is the skirt we showed earlier. One of the important things I always do is I make sure my horse sees my skirt on both sides, as obviously horses have got two sides of the brain, both of which Danny's do sweet nothing most of the time. Obviously this skirt stinks, so it is very, very interesting to Danny. Make sure he sees both of it and he's absolutely fine with it. This is where assistants come in very handy. So next, it's going to hand me the center of the back of the skirt. I'm going to put that in the center of my back. I can't show you. 
And Ian's going to take the camera now and I'll show you how we put it on. So your assistant has just draped it on the back. No issues at all. You might want to do this quite quietly if you've got a hot or sensitive horse. I know Danny does a good flying monkey. So now come round to the front. You've just got both the ends of your skirt. Simply going to tie it in a bow. Done. And then we're going to bring our skirt round so it covers our legs as if it was going to be a normal concourse skirt. Then we're just going to do a bit of gentle flappery. All I can think it as. Make sure that your horse is happy. If you do go down the route of using a set of shitty curtains, or smelly curtains as these are known, you can then see, is this too long? Is it too short on his bottom? These are too long, so they'll need to be folded up for me. Next part is having a little ride round with what you've chosen. Next, I'll do it with the towel. So if you're not lucky enough to own a pair of very smoky curtains to have a play with, you can have a go with a towel. Some horses go a bit backwards, they lose their forward gear. Some horses shoot forwards because they've got something over their bottom. You just want to make sure that your horse is happy and comfortable. Obviously, if you've met Danny and myself, you know that he is gone to concourse classes. But this is all I did until I made my skirt to make sure that was going to be happy and comfortable. I deliberately had a touch this behind my leg. I wanted extra flappy so that I know if it ever happens in the ring and it slips back and flaps around, we're not going to take off out the ring. So once your horse is happy in the walk, you might want to try having a little cross because that's when the movement comes up over their bottom. You need quite a different sensation for a horse. If you're really, really brave, you can flap it around while trotting and make sure that your horse is really happy. If you're super brave, you can have a hand through your skirt. And again, flap and know that your horse is fine. Once you've done it going in one direction, you need to be fair, you need to be equal. And there we go. In the other direction, doing it with a really rubbishy pair of curtains that you don't care about, you can then learn, does my skirt slip? Do I, will I need extra weights one side? Does it completely billow out of all proportions and it's going to need lots of weighting? So once you've done one side, have it on the other. Give it, give it a good flap. Make sure that you're not going to do anything and just walk. So now that we've established, Danny's fine with this. If you're not lucky enough to do this, or the only material you can find is the material you really want to use for your skirt, you obviously don't want to be doing this with it. So if anything happened really untoward, one loop and it's gone. And after we've done that, we make sure we pat our ponies and tell them how good they are. Smell the smelly curtains, Danny. So next, we're going to do it with a towel. The exact same can be done with a pretty big bath towel. So as always, just show them what it is, let them smell it, let them know that it's not going to hurt them. And then with the bath towel, because obviously I don't have ties on this, it's simply going to be slipped underneath my bottom by my very glamorous assistant. So once you've got your bath towel, 
securely under your bottom. So make sure it's laid out nicely. Oh, excuse me, Dan. It's sat on. Obviously, it's going to flap. This you'll need to be more careful with and only go in sitting trot because the only thing keeping this on is going to be your bottom. pony a very big pat. Always the first time you take things off, I know that my horse is absolutely fine with everything I do to it. He's used to me in my crazy ways. Do you take things off gently and quietly? Because while it's on the horse, you can't really see it. They can't see directly in front. You can see all the way around, can't see directly in front. So always just make sure everything's nice. If you've got your bath towel, you can play with their legs. Because obviously the skirt can flick up and it can reach different parts of them. And you want to make sure that when you do this with your real skirt later on, when we come to fitting our skirts, that your horse is going to be happy. Always helps to have a person on the floor. If you can't find an Ian, a best friend, even your yard owner, just somebody to help. It can be done by yourself, but it is a lot more difficult. And then until next week, when we do part two, we're just going to be getting your material all ready, pleating your material and sewing it. Because now we've got our measurements. We want 43 by 47-ish for us. The measurements could be completely different to you. These measurements also work on my friend's 16 hand. It's just that I ride a nice barrel of a pony. Oh, you took offence to that word, didn't you? So from me and Danny, until we see you again in video three, you'll see Danny again when it comes to fitting your skirt once we've made it next week in part two. We'll see you then. <laughs>